to do a little bit of reading that we didn't get to this morning. We're going to do that first, and then we'll get, start our math lesson, okay? So we're going to do reading for about 20, 25 minutes, and then we're going to do math for 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll have music at Fayed. We'll come back and just learn about our math center game center, and then we'll have Friday fun time. Friday fun time. Then we'll have snack, muff break, snack, muff break, read a lot. We'll get ready and we'll be dismissed. Okay? How about we do snack at for 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 um um for for try to um try to we go um that person. How about we do I snack see, and milk break? I see Friday. that, but I like to yeah. at the end of the day. I like to kind of calm down and then make sure we get our bus notes. So is that okay if we just do it here first? Okay. Well, it would be first. Now, before we go to music. I need to remember because I forgot yesterday. We need to do bathrooms because Miss Purpleding and Miss Miss Green do not want you guys going to the bathroom during music at Fayette. So bathrooms, and then also we're gonna do our snack milk. Like don't act like the bathroom is like a music. Yeah. I and need a no. And she said no, right? I need like I go to the bathroom now. Why did they do that? It's an emergency because we just went. Yeah. Okay, go really quickly. Okay. So we are going to start our reading lesson, and Ingrid, you can, you're already recording it, perfect, okay. We're going to start our reading lesson on intellectual endings. Now if you look, you'll see a dash with an S, a dash with an ES, a dash with a D, a dash with an ED, a dash with an IED, and a dash with an ING, G. We have now, these are all endings to words. So that little dash means you have a word, and then you have an ending to it. So look at this cool guy, he's singing. Now, inflectional endings. Go to the corner of your rug. There you go, not you, wife. Can be added to a root word to change a verb tense. So we will add these endings to a word that shows action to show us if the verb is happening now or if it already happened or maybe it's going to happen. So that's going to tell us when it's happening. So look here. Homer paints a picture. He is painting a picture right now. So John, look. We put an S there to show that he's doing it right now. now. Uh-oh. Homer painted a picture. When I add an ED, that means he already did that. That is in the past. He already painted. So I have to add an ED to the action verb of paint. Look at this one. Homer is painting a picture. So when I add the word is and I add ing, I call it the king of ing, and we'll learn that in second grade. The king of ing tells you that it's happening now. Right now. He is doing it right now. That's called the present tense. Just like every day. Would you go sit down, please, and John go sit down? Every day at school, Mrs. Mar Murphy marks you present. Or I might mark you absent. So if you're present, that means you're here right we're now all, we're all at school. Addie. I realize I put one, two, or three. Of the oh, yeah. Yeah. Three of the what? And, uh, and then one. Like one, and then we're going two, and then three. You got yeah. It. Okay. Now, let's review from last year. I hope this is Jensen taught you a little bit about root words. But a root word is the most basic part of a word. So like think of a plant or a tree. What does the plant or the tree have to have to keep it standing tall and so that it stays alive? What does it have to have? Eli? Water. You forget? Water. Water. It has to have water. Yes, that's very important. Tyson? And also sun. And sun. Wyatt? Yeah. Water, soil, and sun. Yep, water, soil, sun, and? And 
how's the word air? Air, oxygen. But if it has all the little stuff, then what will it have to start to grow into the ground, Raylan? A root. A root. So if it doesn't have roots to keep it strong and in place, it might fall. the plant will fall, the tree will fall over, it will die. So when we make words, we have our basic root word or our main word. So we have to look to see what is our root word and then we can add to the beginning or end of that root word. Just like jump. Mrs. Murphy, I can jump. Now, that is my root word. But if I added ed, that means I already jumped. Did I just jump? Yeah. yeah. It's in the past now. It, it's in the past now. Good job, Casey. It already happened. Now, watch this. I have my base word as jump, but watch Mrs. Murphy. What am I doing right now? Jumping. I'm jumping. So that's showing me that I'm doing it right yeah. now. That's the I'm present. Jumping. It's in the past too. No, it's in the present. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Murphy, was, I'm, ju I'm jumping. <laughs> That's happening right now, that's the present. So think about being present when you're at school. Mrs. Murphy, Mark, you have the present. You're here right now. That is tricky. All right, can you guys spot the root word? So I'm gonna see if you can spot it. No, wait, I'll call on you, but just wait. The first one is cooked. What is the root word? Wyatt? E-D. No, that's, that's my ending. I want the root word, the main word. What can cook. you, yes, what can you do that's cook? Cook. Baked. What's the root word? Brooklyn. Um, the root word is baked like you baked it in the past. Good, and this one's in the past because it's an ED. Excellent. Mixed. What do you think, Raylan? Good job. Try it one more time. 
And I will dream dreams. Yeah. Good job. What happens if I press the right You want to try it? Oh, it disappeared. Do you make them disappear? So they either end in an X, fix this. Good job. I know one way to press a little bit. Oh, that could happen. You can do that. Can you find one that ends? Wait, wait. Find one that ends in a Z. Because if it ends in a Z, we gotta add it. Yes. Buzzes. Marches. Yes. And if you have an, an S up here, you have to add an E. Yes. Kisses. And I think washes. Now the rest should disappear. Uh oh, you already clicked that one. Good job. Now it's important. Add S or ES can be added if the subject is a he, she, or it. Okay? And we'll talk about that more later on. So I'm just going to quickly go through this slide really quickly. Okay. We're going to go past this because this is. For a little bit later on, we'll do this one. Okay, now I want to talk about really quickly. We have to add D or ED to describe to a root word to describe the past. So if it already happened, so look up here. Baked. I'm gonna add a D. Now look, I can't add an ED because it already has an E. And if I spell baked. B A K E E D. We would sound that out as bake ed, bake ed. Would that make sense? Bake no. ed. <laughs> no. Bake. Also, if it doesn't end in an e, then we have to add an ed. Here's another rule, and I love this rule. If it ends in y, like the word worry. Ends in a Y, we have to drop the Y and add a I. I. Did you learn that last year? No. No? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I no. thought you did. You were gone that day. <laughs> no. Drop the I, I and add ED. Yeah, you were. I had a word for Raylan, can you raise your hand next time and I'll call you? Eli, if you can't keep your hands yourself, I'll move you to your desk, okay? All right, when a root word ends in an E, we just have to add a D, okay? So like loved, smiled, hoped, chased. They already end in E. We just have to add the D, okay? Now, if we have a consonant and a Y, we have to drop the Y and add I, E, D. I, E, D, for cry to cry. Carry. carry. We're going to do carry, but we have to drop the uh, Y and add I, E, D. Okay? Now, for anything else, we just add an E, D. Like dreamed, rushed, yelled, walked. Okay? All right. We are going to finish this next week. So next week, in reading the phonics, we'll continue working on inflectional endings because it is a lot to remember and learn. Okay, Ingrid, would you shut off my video? Mm -hmm. And we're going to go back to our